So I'd like to mention before we start this that I've noticed some stuff has been added to the files. What are you talking about, For Adam? whatever reason. What are you talking about? Um, <laughs> let's start the game. We may check them out later, guys. Don't worry. Okay. I think you saw my, uh, my <laughs> I think you saw my, um, desktop for a second. Oh, well, guess what? He's a nerd. Oh, it's still messed up! <laughs> Who are you talking about? It's always been like that, Adam. No, it hasn't. Also, uh, the game wiped all my save files. You didn't get my reaction to that, but it did. What are you talking about? It's always been like that. Aaron, you say that like this is an episode, what, like six? I got. I still gotta, re I still gotta edit all this. Also, let me arrange some stuff so I can... There we go. Okay, okay, okay. We're at a more normal point right now. All right, right? so... Right? Okay. Sure we are. Um, let's... I do Yuri, so... You do Yuri. We'll just start with her. Dot, dot, dot. As Yuri reads the poem, I noticed her eyes lighten up. Exceptional. Uh, what, what was that? Uh, did you say... Did I say something out loud? This music is still way too cutesy. I gotta put it down. <laughs> it's cutesy for a reason. It's demasculating, alright? Yuri first covers her mouth, Look but... Look at what you're playing! But then ends... Yeah, <laughs> but then ends up covering her whole face. I... Ooh. He's gonna... You hate me. Um... You really didn't do anything wrong, Yuri. Eh, that's... I guess you're right. What I'm getting is... I'm getting so nervous for. This seems a little <laughs> familiar. Yuri takes a breath. So? What kind of writing experience do you have? Y your use of imagery and metaphors indicates that you've written a lot of poetry before. Really? Well, that's a huge compl uh, compliment coming from you. This is actually my first time. Huh? Yuri stares blankly, uh, I mean blankly, then looks at my poem again. Well, I know that. <clears throat> I just meant, uh, um... Yuri trails off, unable to find an excuse. She traces her finger along the words of the poem as if breaking it down more thoroughly. Yeah, okay. This is the reason I was able to tell. She's just gonna talk about the typical writing habits again. Okay. And such. Some dialogue does the, say the same. Sometimes, though, things do go wacky. Uh, um, well, never mind. Well, I think it's gonna be stuff like this again. Immediately, this is one problem I do kind of have with this game. I don't like that it makes you, um, repeat stuff as much as it does. This <laughs> just looks like the same poem over Yeah, this looks like the identical poem as well. I'm kind of wondering if I should cut some of this out. If you want to. And I, I do, if in case this doesn't get cut, I do know a lot about the game, but like... I don't know, like, about all the dialogue and such repeating. I know how- what happens to some stuff later on. Saren, so I've been playing Pokemon Sun, or Pokemon Ultra Sun. Yeah, how's that going? I have an all-shiny team that I bred in Sun. It's tacky. It's like not if tacky, you agree. Aaron. It's not tacky! It's like Houndoom, um... Yeah, and Mega, I can't think straight when I'm doing this. Actually, you, you hold, you press space bar. I'll go grab my game real quick. Oh no, we have to select next girl. Oh, we do. Okay. <laughs> well, I got this open at least. No, shut up, Rotom. The team is um, Togedemaru, Yan Mega, Quagsire, um, Houndoom. Dredagon, and Alolan Ninetales. Monkeys can climb, yeah, this is the same as well. Crickets can leave, <laughs> horses can race. <laughs> I like it. What? Just to be honest, I am. What are you, <laughs> why are you so convinced that I wouldn't like it? This well, is one manly sounding lolly, but you know. <laughs> Her name is Natsuku. I know. Natsuki. Natsuki. What is with these? Okay. Oh, that was it, okay. You know, the thing about gra uh, visual novels is when you just skip through all the text, things go, uh, go uh, yeah, things go through in like a minute. <laughs> it's... Well, yeah, because you're supposed to read the text, because you're simulating kind of dating. Did you see how fast the first day went by when I hit skip? Oh, yeah. <laughs> it's... Just slide my game back to... Oh, that was perfect. <laughs> it's... Oh, wow. Neki Nasuki suddenly stands up. I didn't realize you were so invested in trying to oppress the new member, Yuri. Are we gonna get that that option again? I guess we'll have to find Should out. Should I side up Natsuki this time? Do you wanna? 
I'm thinking about it. I mean, maybe you'll finally start to like Natsuki. I think I'll... <laughs> if you she's, go with her. Did... Whoa! Oh yeah, uh, it's this! Well, be careful or you might cut yourself on that edge. <laughs> Wait! Why is that line in here? Oh, you'll... Oh my bad, you already do, don't you? Did you just accuse me of cutting myself? What the fuck is wrong with your head? Yeah, go on. Let Game Dog hear everything you really think. I'm sure he'll be, he'll be head over heels for you after this. Uh-uh. Suddenly Yuri turns toward me as if she just noticed I was standing here. Game Dog! Wait, what? What are you talking what about? What is going on with the music? She's just trying to make me look bad. That's not true. She started it. Got to... Oh, oh goodness. Uh, who do you want to go with, Adam? <laughs> <laughs> it's not like me. I don't know who. <laughs> I love how we just skip through that text. You know what, Yuri? I'm going to help you. Wait. Wait. No! No! I, I want to go... Oh! <laughs> I see what it's doing! Wait! Wait! What? Aaron, am I supposed to be laughing at this? No. <laughs> um, hey, Game Dog. Why don't you step outside for a bit? Okay? What? Sorry about that. Why did you take that mouse off screen? <laughs> oh, they can see that, yeah. <laughs> they really shouldn't have tried to get you involved. It's probably better for us to stay out, out here. We'll go back inside. Oh, you, you read Monica in this playthrough. <laughs> we'll go back inside what they're yelling. I forgot to. <laughs> Some president I am, right? I can't even confront my own club members properly. I just wish I'd be able to be a little more assertive sometimes. But I never have it in me to put my foot down against others. You understand, right? Anyway, if this makes you want to spend less time with the others, then that's fine. I'd be happy to spend some time with you instead. And what I think they were doing, I thought they were forcing me to pick Natsuki there by doing that, by keep zooming into the point which I can't physically click on, <laughs> on Yuri. <laughs> it was Monica jump scare. Suddenly Natsuki runs out of the classroom. Oh, the second one in the game. She quickly runs away. What do you want? <laughs> oh dear. Well, it looks like they're done. What do you mean done? One of them ran off. I didn't mean it. I didn't mean it at all. I didn't mean it. Yuri is rocking back and forth in her desk with her palms in her forehead. Yuri. I didn't mean it. Uh... I believe you. I have no idea what Yuri might have said to Natsuki, or did. You game dog. Please don't hate me. Please. I'm not like this. There's something wrong with me today. It's fine, Yuri. We know you didn't mean it. Besides, I'm sure- oh my goodness. I'm sure Natsuki will forget all about, about it by tomorrow. Completely. Dot, dot, dot. Anyway, the meaning. Ooh. Ooh, sorry. Oh, I have an actual chair this time. Yeah, Erin has an actual chair. She's not sitting on a yarn ball. <laughs> anyway, the meaning is over, so we can, uh, you can go home now if you want. Dot, dot, dot. Yuri looked at me uh, like she wants to say something, but she keeps glancing at Monica. You, you can go first, Monica. I'd like to stay here a bit longer. I'm the president, so I should be the last one out. I'll wait for you to be done. Well, I'm vice president, so please let me take responsibility today. This kind of sounds like you don't want me around for something, Yuri. It's, it's not that. It's not that. I just... I didn't get much of a chance to discuss my book with Game Dog. What? <laughs> oh, you have an ad. Get out of here. Die. Oh. I guess I don't really have a choice, do I? So I'm doing Monica now? I guess you are now. Okay, fine. I'm sorry for, for ca causing trouble. Oh, whoa. All right, time All right, we're poem. writing poems now. <laughs> um, I think we'll just skip around depending on who's in the scene. Fine. Do you want to feel? Are you still? I'm going? still going all the way with Yuri. All right. At least we know what Yuri likes. Like right now, it's probably gonna be super super easy. We t we said that last time. She likes the spooky words. I'm just picking stuff that can't possibly be hers. Oh my goodness. Good job. <laughs> You're gonna get Natsuki. I don't want Natsuki. Graveyard. Natsuki is a piece of garbage, all right? Oh, you're what calm. Is, oh, I've never seen the word heaven sent spelt out like that. You don't know the true power of a Sundre, do you? No, I don't. Guys, yeah. Aaron, I, 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 guys, I kid you not, the only time I've ever heard the word Yasundre is in Undertale. Oh, the termination! <laughs> Speaking of Undertale. 
Massacre. Massacre. Suicide. Play cage. Okay, fine. <laughs> I can't believe this game already. Another day passes and it's time for the club meeting already. I've got a little more I've got I've gotten a little more comfortable here over the past couple days. Entering the club room, the usual scene greets me. Welcome <coughs> back, game dog. Uh, hi Yuri. I'm not sure if it's me or or if it's Yuri's expression, but the weight of yesterday's quarrel still hangs in the air a little. Um Yuri glances over at, over her shoulder, looking around the room. Natsuki re is reading manga at the desk, and surprisingly Monica isn't here yet. Suddenly Yuri takes my arm and pulls me into the corner of the room. There's the corner. Uh, right there. next to Natsuki! <laughs> About yesterday. I... I really need to apologize. Nothing like that has ever happened before. And something just came over me, I guess. I wasn't acting mentally sound. Please don't think we're usually like this. Not just me, but Natsuki as well. All of this could have been fit into one paragraph. But it's a dating Yuri. scene. Yuri! I'm happy that you were considerate and apologized. You don't have to worry too much. Even though I've only been here a couple days, I could tell something was off yesterday. Maybe we were just a little sensitive because it was our first time sharing poems. But whatever that was, I, it, um, it didn't make me think any less of you. I had already decided that there's no way uh, you can be a bad person, and now that you're apologizing, I know you really didn't mean it. Aha! Uh -huh. Game dog. <coughs> Don't say those kinds of things so frankly. They make me feel a little too happy. I'm really glad that you're such an understanding person. And I'm really glad you, you joined the club. I can read. Everything is a little brighter with you around, and... Uh... Sorry, what am I saying now? I just... Hey, guys, um, hey, have you guys seen Monica? Ah! Uh -huh. <laughs> she yells a lot, doesn't she? Ah! Uh -huh. <laughs> <laughs> no, I haven't. I was also kind of worried where she was. Man, Yuri, I'm guessing you haven't either. Mm. Yuri is clearly taken aback by how Kali Natsuki is addressing her. N no, I haven't. Jeez, this isn't like her at all. I know it's stupid, but I can't help but worry a little bit. Uh, Why are you laughing? I don't know. Erin, I can tell by your body language what's coming up sometimes. I'm thinking, right? I'm thinking of future events. I'm you would be excited. awful at poker, just saying. <laughs> what? Why are you looking at me like that? Um, Natsuki, about yesterday. I just wanted to apologize. I promise I didn't mean any of the things I said. And I'll do my best to stay under control from now on. So... What the heck are you talking about? Did you do something yesterday? Eh? <laughs> Jeez. Whatever is on your mind, I'm sure it was nothing. Wait, we're not the only person having these weird, like, memory wipes? What are you talking about? Oh, Aaron, I don't even remember anything bad happening. You're the kind of person who worries too much about the little things, aren't you? But... but... I'll accept your apology anyway, if it helps you feel better about it. Besides, it's kind of nice to hear, since I was always afraid uh, you secretly hated me or something like that. No, not at all. <laughs> I forgot what- I don't hate you! Aha. Uh -huh. Well, you're kind of weird, but I don't hate you either. Uh... That's if he turns to me. You're still on trial, though. Hey? Suddenly the door swings open. Sorry, I'm- <laughs> Sorry, I'm super sorry. Ah, there you are. I didn't mean to be late. I hope you guys weren't worried about worried or anything. I can do Monica when you're doing both Natsuki and yourself. Okay, fine. Well, Natsuki was... I was not. <laughs> Whatever. What took you so long, anyway? Uh, well, well, my last period was study hall today. And to be honest, I'm just kind of lost track of time. This sounds a little familiar. <laughs> that makes no sense, though. You would have heard the bell ring, at least. I must not have heard. I was practicing piano. We know piano? about the piano. Yeah. I, that that pose always gets me. It comes out of nowhere. Monica smiles sweetly. Um, I didn't mean to um, mean any pressure or anything like that. <laughs> Don't worry. I was hoping we could share with you anyway. I guess that I've always been practicing so much recently. I see. I'm not sure if Monica was referring to the whole club or just me. In that case, best of luck. Thanks. I didn't miss anything, did I? No, not really. I chose not to bring up anything that the three of us talked about, because Natsuki had already begun to run off into the closet. That one right in front of you, game dog. Um, um, since your compliments put me in a good mood, I was wondering if you'd like to spend more time together today. Yes. I mean, in the club? Yes, definitely. I planned on anyway. Okay! Can we start now? Let's find a place to sit. Are we gonna put chocolate in her mouth uh -huh. again? Her mouth's kind of open right now. Where's the bar? <laughs> I'm being a little forceful, aren't I? I'm sorry. What? My heart just won't stop pounding for some reason. Don't worry oh, about it. Me. If anything, it's nice to, to see you have so much energy. Yeah, but I need to try to calm down. I won't be able to focus on reading like this. Take your time. Yuri takes a deep breath and pulls a copy of the book out of her bag. 
And we teleported. Actually, I, I have I have a request. Do you mind if I okay. No, I don't. Yeah, we know about the tea as well. But no chocolate! No chop. There's no chocolate? Well, no, we know. Are we gonna shove tea in her mouth instead? No, he hid it from um he hid it from uh it wasn't Sayori's chocolate originally. Ooh. I mean Sayori who. Oh, I see. <laughs> she hid this. She he hid chocolate from Sayori. This is um users skip some different is this stuff. New? Let's see. The most logical place for Yuri to be would be the nearest water fountain. I start hanging down the hallway. <sighs> is she gonna kill herself now? I don't know. What's that noise? It's coming from around the corner. It sounds like breathing. Is she drowning herself? I don't know. A sharp inhale, like someone is sucking air through their teeth. Are they in pain? I reach the corner and peer around it. Yuri. <laughs> Whoa! I oh ah, I I promise I'm not skipping that. I'm, I'm back. back. Wait, what? Thanks for waiting. Her arm was cut up. Thanks for waiting patiently. Game dog, do, would you like some on long tea? Uh yeah, anything is fine. Very well. Yuri sets the temperature on the kettle to 200 degrees. Now it's time to get the teapot. You really do this properly, don't you? Of course. She's making tea for others. <laughs> you can skip this. Oh, okay. Aaron, I kind of want to watch Northern Lion play this. Is he playing it? No, he's not. I wouldn't be surprised if Kate did, because she loves these kinds of things, but... <laughs> this seems like the kind of game... People would watch just because it's so not the kind of game he would play. Yeah. <laughs> like, he would take it 100% seriously. <laughs> uh, I love Northern Lion. Oh, he does have the chocolates in his bag. I love Northern Lion. Oh, we bring the chocolates Except this time. Except this time. No, he had it the original time. Our bodies are even close to each other. I can't... S I can't see too well. <laughs> She's... Yep. <laughs> she slides closer. <laughs> I'm not supposed to focus on reading like this. Yuri is always kind of cute, but when she's being less apprehensive, it's almost more than I can handle. Your teacup. Yuri hands me my teacup. Holding it with my hand that's not holding the book, I end up in the position that makes it even harder to focus. This sounds familiar. Video games, am I right, guys? Video <laughs> games are art. I hear my boy. Aaron, this is postmodernism. Thanks, Game Theory. No, like, it's actually postmodernism. Oh, wait, wait, then I take another chocolate, hold up to Yuri. She doesn't even look away from the book. She will be parts her lips in the situation completely natural, but that means I can't stop here. I apparently see the chocolate is. in her mouth. There we are. <laughs> Yuri's expression suddenly breaks. Did, did, did I, I just... Um, game dog. I can't game dog. I can't. Oh, we didn't do it a second time! Game dog. My, My heart. What? My heart won't stop pounding, Game Dog. I can't calm down. Is she madly in love with us this time? I don't know. I can't focus on anything anymore. I can't. Can you feel it, Game Dog? This sounds oddly like Sayori. Before she, um, killed herself. Yuri suddenly presses her hand against my chest. What is happening to me? Why is this happening to me? The screen is pulsating and it's freaking me out. I feel like I'm losing my mind. I can't make it stop. I can't. It. It even makes me not want to read. I just want to Aaron, you're getting to too much into this. <laughs> at you. She's closer. Look at her eyes. Those actual, like, realistic eyes. <gasps> oh, that's freaky. I think those are, like, realistic eyes. Like, actual photorealistic eyes. Oh, that's scary. <sighs> This reminds me of something. Creepy pasta. <laughs> Did the music go blank too? Yep. During that, um, it's time to share poems. Poem time. Oh, okay. After that totally normal occurrence, who do you want to go that with? That was freaky. Do you want to take a break from Yuri? Yuri? No, <laughs> we're, like we're going all limb of Yuri. I all mean, right. I'm gonna read all of their poems eventually. <laughs> I've been waiting for this. Let's see what you've written for today. I'm assuming all this is normal as well. <laughs> I feel like this game. Oh, oh, good. Is Scroll this through the. This is a new one. Oh, I still can't read your handwriting. All right, go ahead, do your best. A rotating wheel, turning an axe, grinding bolt, bot head, linen gearbox, falling sky, seven holy stakes, a docket ship, a portal to another world, a thin rope tied to a thick rope, a tor a torn harness. Um, parabotic gearbox, expanding universe, true- these are just like a list of nouns. 
Breaking Sky, Breathing Wheel, Holy Stakes. Wait, it, it kind of repeats after a while. Clock that ticks 40 times every time it ticks every second time. A clock ticks, but every time it ticks, it's the emoji movie. A bot, God, a bot hit of holy stakes tied to the existence of a docked ship in another world. A kaleidoscope of blood. Kaleidoscope of blood. <laughs> Crawling <written> in. <laughs> I just love the phrase uh -huh. kaleidoscope of blood. <laughs> it's. Doesn't really matter. What's it about? It looks like you just threw a katamari through a dictionary, and that was the result. <laughs> Mine has just been a little hyperactive lately, so I've been taken out on your... I can read. On my pen. Uh, that's it. A pen fell out of your bag backpack yesterday, so I took it home for a safekeeping and... She's kind of obsessed with us in this one. I, um... I just really like the way that it writes. So I wrote this poem with it. And now you're touching it. <laughs> I'm okay. It's a little creepy. What did I just... Can we pretend this conversation never happened? You can keep that poem, though. Huh. Next girl. I'll do, um, when I voice. Natsuki, Natsuki, Natsuki. What? Hmm, I like your last one better. Really? Yeah, I can tell. Okay. Oh, buddy boy. We're gonna get... Is this poem something interesting? No, it's still Amy. It's likes still Amy like spiders. If I went all in with Natsuki instead, would that poem be different? Because Yuri's poem was different. Aaron, I know it's metafiction, but I'm still trying to break it down like it's an a like it's a normal game. <laughs> I do have to say, knowing what happens, there is a awful lot of foreshadowing everywhere. Okay. You see, that tie around her neck is red, which is foreshadowing for how much blood is going to be in this. Is it that level of foreshadowing? I don't know. <laughs> Um, let me see. I saw something you weren't supposed to see. I didn't want to have to tell you this, but I don't think I have a choice. It's getting kind of dangerous with, uh, for you to spend so much time with Yuri. I don't know why, but she seems pretty easily excitable when she's around you. Which shouldn't be a problem in itself, but when Yuri gets too excited, she finds a place to hide and starts cutting herself with a pocket knife. Oh my goodness. Isn't well, that kind of messed up? Monica know this, she even brings a different one to school every day. It's uh, like she has a collection or something. I'm trying to think of this like... I mean, Seriously. Like, th this this does sound like it could be pretty realistic. I mean, it's definitely not because she's depressed or anything like that. I mean, it's definitely not because... Oh, okay. I think she just uh, gets some kind of high from it. It might even be, like, a sexual thing. But the point is, you're kind of enabling her. I'm not saying it's your fault, though. But I guess um, that's why I have to explain it all. Is this game guilt-tripping me into not going all in with Yuri? No. Because I'm still going all in with Yuri. I just want to see what happens at this yeah, point. Yeah, go all in with Yuri. So I think if you keep the dist your distance, that would probably be best for her. While you're at it, don't be shy to spend a little more time with me. To uh, to put it lightly, I at least have have it together in the head, and I don't know how to, and I know how to treat my club members. That is not a nice thing to say as a friend. But anyway, would you want? Do you want to read my poem now? I like the way this one turned out, so I hope you do too. Save me. The colors they want bright. Beautiful, flashing, expanding, piercing, red, green, blue. I think she wrote a poem exactly like this last time, but like it looks like some word letters are taken. Is this one that says load me at the end? Delete her? What are you talking about, Adam? <laughs> Wait, okay. The noise, it won't stop. Violent. Yeah, I think this is the exact same. No, this, this seems new. Like playing a chalkboard on the turntable, like playing a knife on the breathing, breathe. Like playing a knife on a breathing rib, rib cage. I can't that one. Endless poem of meaningless or meaningless. Probably meaningless. That feel that then I think that's what's it delete, means, delete her. her. Aaron, am I supposed to delete something? Uh, don't do anything. Don't yet. do anything just yet. Okay. To be fair, I want to see how this goes right now. Um, wait. Sorry, I know it's kind of abstract. I'm just trying to um. Well, never mind. There's no point in explaining. Anyway. Here's Monica's writing tip of the day. Sometimes you'll find yourself facing a difficult decision. Don't forget to save the don't game. Don't forget to save your game. I'm doing that right now. Monica, you don't have to tell me twice. Okay, fine. Wait! Huh? Please help me. That's my advice for today. <laughs> what is going on? Thanks for listening. Thanks for listening. Wait. Sure. Oh, goodness. 
I was staying over at my friend's place. There were four of us. I, dr I drifted off to sleep while everyone was talking and watching TV. In my dreams, I was still at my friend's house. The only difference was that there were there were nails sticking out of the walls everywhere. And there was also someone I didn't recognize. That person I didn't recognize told a joke and everyone laughed. I woke up to the sound of everyone laughing at something that happened on their TV. So the laughing was not part of the dream. It was the noise that woke me up. I wonder uh, who that person was and how they, they knew to tell the joke at that moment. Huh. Okay, everyone. Wait, wait. That's not... That usually comes at the end of the day. Okay, everyone. We're all done reading each other's poems, right? We have something we need to go over today, so if everyone could sit down in front of the classroom... I'm not sure... Is this about the festival? Well, sort of. Do we really have to do something for the festival? It's not like we can put together anything good or, in just a few days. We'll just, uh, we'll just end up embarrassing ourselves. This is familiar. This is all about that festival. Aaron, I'm a little worried that the power might cut out, because we have, like, a huge storm coming. Yeah. That's not coming till like tomorrow morning, it's right? It's not coming till tomorrow. Okay. You can look out the window right now and see literally no snow. It's pitch black out there because it's the middle of winter in Maine, and it's like an afternoon. <laughs> it gets dark early here. Is what I'm saying. Uh, okay. I can't wait to share this with my two friends that quit this <laughs> game because of anxiety. <laughs> oh, this. See, th my life advice, take it with a joke, take it with a grain of salt, because it it's just a video game, right? Right? <laughs> right, it is, it is just a video game. Oh, are they fighting again? You're here. Natsuki ignores Yuri and walks right out of the classroom. This, this is, is bad. I don't know what to do. Well, do you have an opinion of the f on the festival? I don't know. I'm kind of indifferent, I guess. Oh, who cares about that obnoxious brat? I mean, I like how nice and quiet the club is right now, and I'm just happy with you here. But still, I'm the vice president, and it's not right for me to ignore my responsibilities like that. Nobody would cry if she killed herself. Whoa! I should do my best to consider everyone's perspective and make the decision that's right for the club. I sure hope this is recording properly. What about you? What about you, Game Dog? What do you get out of this club? You repeat the same question as Monica. I decided to give an indirect answer. Um, is I decided giving an indirect answer is better than nothing. I think the most important thing is for everyone to get along, and that the club is uh, to provide something that can't uh, can't that you can't get anywhere else. I don't think it's about how many members, rather the quality of each member. That's what will end up making Literature Club a special place. I see. I really agree with you. Each member contributes their own Her eye is bleeding again. in a special way. Will each with each change in members, the identity of the club as a whole will change too. I don't think it's a necessarily a bad thing. Stepping out of the comfort zone once in a while. So, it would be like to help Monica with the festival, then I'm on your side as well. My computer is making some really weird sounds right now. Huh, do you hear that? No. No? Okay. Alright. Well, maybe... They just zoom out. Maybe we can all talk to Natsuki tomorrow. I think it's zooming in. Yuri nods. Hey, Yuri. Yeah? Uh, I, I know things were a little uh, awkward yesterday, but I feel like you deserve to know that I still think you are a wonderful vice president. And also a wonderful friend. Monica! I want to do everything I can to make this uh, to make this the best club ever. Okay. Me too. Yeah. Let's all go home for today. We'll talk about the festival tomorrow. Okay. I look forward to it. Shall we go, Game Dog? Um, please don't take this the wrong way, but... I'm going to chat a little bit with Game Dog before we leave, just to see what he thinks of uh, of his time here and all that. It's important to me as president. Yuri looks a little troubled, but she doesn't protest. Okay, I trust your judgment, Monica. In that case, I'll see you two tomorrow. See you tomorrow. Monica waves as Yuri exits the classroom. You. You want to read her now? It's just the two of us. Sure. Okay. Things have been a little bit hectic lately, haven't they? Game Dog, I just wanted to make sure you were enjoying your time at this club. I really would hate it to see you unhappy. I feel kind of like I'm responsible for that as president. And I really do care about you, you know? I don't feel like seeing other girls give, give you a hard time. Oh, the background. And how mean Natsuki is and everything. And Yuri being a little bit, you know. <laughs> Something, it feels like you and I are really the only people here. You know what I mean. 
It's weird, because in all of the time you've been here, we've hardly gotten to spend any time together. I mean, I guess it's technically only been a couple of days. Sorry, didn't mean to say something weird. Then, there, there are you go. I can't talk. I've been hoping to say something with you. Things I only could understand, so that's why. It's getting Wait, dark not now. dead! No, stop it! Stop it! <laughs> Next poem. Huh. Or do you want to? Let's stop let's stop the recording for now, and we'll see you guys later. Yes, yes, Monica. Just Monica. <laughs>